The subtitle of Imagining the Kingdom is How Worship Works, which is a little bit of a play on a, a fantastic book by literary critic James Wood called How Fiction Works. And what I'm interested in is trying to understand um, just how the spirit uses and, and sort of channels grace through the practices of Christian worship. Now, that, that requires first appreciating that worship is not just an expressive thing that we do. It's not just sort of an upward offering of our sacrifice of praise that shows our devotion to God. Uh, it begins from a really ancient Christian conviction that worship is also an encounter where God meets us and molds us and shapes us. And worship is a training ground, as it were, for rehearsing uh, the shape of the kingdom. So once you start to appreciate that worship is formative in that way, then we have to be attentive to the shape of worship, the form of worship. What, what's going on when Christians gather uh, to worship the triune God? So one of the things that I'm trying to do in the book is to help worship leaders, pastors, worship planners, really understand the dynamics of that formation. Sometimes I, I call it the mechanics of that formation, but I don't want it to sound machine-like. What I mean is um, the way the gospel gets implanted in our bones, the way it seeps into our imagination, is through the narrative, affective, aesthetic aspects of Christian practices. The, the really tangible, visceral, even bodily elements uh, of how the gospel gets in our bones. So, so when we as a congregation gather and we confess our sins before God, there's something going on when we kneel to do that. It's like it puts the story into our body in ways that we don't forget, uh, and even that we don't realize. So a really, a lot of the book is set up to try to help folks understand how that kind of formation works, and that's why the book then ends by saying, here are the implications for intentional worship planning. Here's how we plan worship to perform the story of the gospel in ways that seep into uh, the very core of, of our being. And so uh, I hope that it gives folks new resources, new tools uh, to plan worship accordingly.